Welcome back to MLB 9 Innings, the skill evaluation series. Back uh, about four weeks ago, I made a post comparing uh, Mess and Untouchable, and a, a viewer commented he had made a, um, a Reddit post on top starting pitching still skill combinations. So I wanted to visit that and also provide some of my own data. Uh, to see if we can validate it. He he didn't have any data. All he was, was saying was it was based on his uh, experience and um, you know, what, what he could see visually, but he didn't he didn't quantify it. Uh, so he called boss mess S skill, uh, A skill being um, touch uh, mess or pitching machine mess, A minus boss touch, boss pitching machine, and then finally a B uh, combo touch and pitching machine. And those are the, you know, the four best skills that you could possibly get for um, a starting pitcher. Uh, so I have uh, actually four of those combos in my starting pitching. So um, I wanted to do a little analysis to see how it plays out. All right. So here we can see, you know, I've graphed the average pitching skills. So that's the average of location, velocity, fastball, breaking ball against ERA. Um, Harvey's got boss mess. Arietta's got Mess Pitching Machine, Thor's got Boss PM, and Matt's has Boss Touch. Um, up here you have Porcello who has Boss Mess. Now that's not blue skills yet. Uh, so how how does how does the line move? Um, you know, I tried to, to graph in a line here uh, to give some sort of visualization. Um, I put it under where Porcello was at just because I think you would see a bump with the blue skills. Um, there also could be some sort of curve here. I, I, it may not be a straight line, obviously. If you're not going to get a zero ER, ERA, there's um, it's going to start to curve away. Um, Wheeler, um, you know, some uh, skill like Giant Killer, um, is only going to be effective when the starting pitcher's, uh, lower OVR than the batter. So if you say turn that into a SIG, it's not going to, not going to perform going down the uh, line like that. It's going to be a much... Uh, more minimal improvement. All right, so we can, but we can still gather uh, some good data, especially in a small group. So if we're focusing on, you know, this small area, um, and this this is like four weeks worth of data, averaged. So you're talking over, um, I think, eleven hundred innings pitched. Um, so. It, you know, you're, you're seeing a lot of data here. So boss mess, clearly, clearly the best skill set, um, followed closely by mess PM. So validation of both. And then boss touch and boss PM were, were really close. Um, so, um, so I, I, I want to go ahead and congratulate, um, cold slaughter here. I think, I think this, uh, skill guide is great. If you haven't seen it, you can, you can Google it, check it out. Um, you know, obviously there's a couple more, co uh, combinations, but definitely validated four of them. Um, now I looked at average pitching skills, but wait, um, you, uh, you weighted the batting skills. What about a weighting? Well, I don't have the data to try to do
do a weighting yet. I, I really need, you really need multiple um, pitchers with the same skill set. I tried putting in like gold pitchers, um, but they're all kind of getting destroyed. So I might have to uh, t take a week where you, you just, you balance the batters and, and the pitchers. Um, it, it's a little hard to explain, but if you did take a, a, a swag at the waiting, so I said, Ari, what if, what if Velo's 1.7 locations, 1.3 fastballs, 1.1 and breaks, breaking balls, you know, times one. So if you, if you weighted each of them, you know, multiplied it by those numbers and added them up together. How, how does it look? You know, it, it's going to, it's going to make some change, but it's, um, is it tremendous? No. Is, is it really going to change any major conclusions? No. It might line up, uh, you know, the boss touch and boss PM, you know, as being almost equivalent, a little better. Small change, not, not, not too much. Now, what about other skills um, beyond those four? Uh, they don't perform very well. So here we got. Um, oh, let's go see what who's there. It's probably. Uh, let me see. Wilmer Flores. They they seem to have the same people over and over again. Um, all right, so. Arietta, um, you know, I changed them in, you know, back in May from eighth kill shot to, to mass PM. And you can see mm -hmm. that, um, substantial improvement. Mats went from touch kill shot to, to boss touch. You can see a, um, you know, a noticeable improvement as well. Um, probably because you're, you have one one of the four good skills, and now you've gone out to two of the four good skills. Versus here, you have none of them. So, um, and then um, you know, for for reference, Harvey's always in, been in the same spot, and and this was before I uh, redid Thor. So you can see that there's always small week to week variations. Um, and then here, um, Thor again, it, it, changing it from boss kill shot to boss pitching machine. You know, you're, you're seeing a, uh, you know, a one, not quite a one ERA improvement. So. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. You know, those those are the four uh, skills you want to um, you want to focus on for your starting pitching. Um, and let me know if you have any other comments or feedback. Um, I love the engagement. Go take a look at um, uh, Cold Slaughter's post. Uh, give it a thumb up. I think it's a great guide. Um, you know, the Reddit has a, a decent skill guide, but it's definitely um, out of date. And it also doesn't really talk about combinations. So um, that's all for now. And let me go see who um, who's in the Mets free agent. Ramos. I already have. All right. Good day.